Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the most overpriced upgrade in the entire game for Age of Empires 2. And you might not be even familiar with its upgrade because it's so rarely researched. So I'm going to go ahead and introduce the upgrade, what it does, and then talk about it. But before I do all that guys, make sure to check out my secondary channel, Hera Gameplay. Link in the description below. I upload a top 1v1 Age of Empires 2 game every single day on that channel. And so if you guys are craving AO2 content, especially 1v1 point of view games, definitely check that out. Very, very nice channel. Make sure you make use of it and enjoy those videos. All right, back to the video. The most overpriced upgrade in the game is actually going to be Faith. Now, it's not the most expensive upgrade in the game, but it's the most overpriced for what it does. You're just not getting good value for the amount of resources you're spending. Now, for those who might not be familiar with what Faith does, basically, it makes your units harder to convert. And I've got the exact statistics as to what exactly it does and how much effect it has. So basically, it gives your units a minus 67% chance of being converted by enemy monks and it increases the minimum and maximum conversion times by two seconds for the minimum time and five seconds seconds from the maximum time. For those who don't know, the minimum time is three seconds that you can get converted and the maximum time is 10 seconds. So with the faith, it now becomes five seconds minimum, 15 seconds maximum. Now, right off the bat, guys, I need to make sure that you guys understand this is not a bad upgrade. What it gives you is actually quite decent. Monks can be very hard to deal with and monks, especially in mass, can be extremely ignorant. They have 12 range when fully upgraded and they can convert all kinds of powerful units from very far away. They also get their monk juice, as I like to call it, with their, I guess, conversion bar that resets. So a monk can get one conversion, then wait a little bit and get another conversion. And it can be very hard to deal with monks because they're just going to be getting constant value, whereas you're losing your units constantly when trying to attack them. So faith actually gives a really nice bonus in having a chance to run in and kill the monks before they can convert you. However, the biggest problem with this technology is the fact that it's so expensive. It's so overpriced with the value that it gets you. It costs 1750 total resources, 750 food and a thousand gold, and it takes a minute to research. So this is a very expensive upgrade. It takes a while to kick in. And just to give you a comparison, they're giving a similar bonus to Bengali's elephant archers for literally free. It's a team bonus. And they're also also giving a similar bonus to the Sicilian's unique tech. When they get the cast of unique tech, they spawn a bunch of sergeants and all their units become harder to convert. So this harder to convert for your units is a bonus that's been thrown around to different civilizations, be it in bonuses or unique techs or whatnot. And for generic civilizations that get faith, you need to research it for 1750 resources at the monastery. Uh, I'm not saying that the effect of faith is the same as the Sicilian's or the Bengali's one. Obviously faith will give be better effect and give it to all your units, which is great, but it's still a very expensive upgrade for what you're getting. I'll give you guys another reason why I'm just not a fan of this upgrade. When would you actually logically want to get faith? You want to get faith because it's so expensive when you have a really expensive unit that you don't want to get converted. I'll give you a good example, war elephants for the Persians or even battle elephants for certain other civilizations. Elephants are extremely expensive. They're also slow. So your you know, opponent will probably want to get some monks out to deal with them. And that's when faith can come in to make it harder for your opponent to convert it. That sounds nice in theory, but in practice, even if you consider that it's harder to convert the elephant, it's still not impossible to convert the elephant. And because the elephant is such a slow unit, if you're trying to charge into monks, even if you have faith, your opponent can easily just start channeling his monks and your elephants won't get to that 12 range gap between them and the monks in time before they get converted, whether they have faith or not. And so obviously if I had the choice and I can get faith for free, for example, I'd want to have faith on my elephants to help defend them a little bit from the monks. But if I need to invest 1750 resources to have a little bit of extra defense versus the monk conversions, pretty much nine times out of 10, I'm saying, no, I'm not gonna get that upgrade. I'm instead just gonna go for like Hussars or or some range unit to try to snipe the monks and I'll just <laughs> spend the resources on something else. Another small point against faith is that it's only available in Imperial Age, so you can't even get it against full castage monk rushes. And then the last thing I want to talk about as well is the fact that it costs two different resources. It's the only upgrade in the monastery that costs food and gold, and that makes it extremely hard to afford. If it's just gold, you can make the argument in late game that you can pick it up if you've got good trade in team games, or if you're just mining a ton of gold and okay, listen, just pick up faith because your opponent only has monks. That's fair enough. But because it costs two different resources, you almost have to be completely fully boomed with like 140 bills to even think of affording this upgrade in a competitive game or in a game where the both players are pretty evenly matched. If you just randomly try to get an upgrade that costs 1750 resources that doesn't give a huge power spike, then your opponent will simply overrun you if they've just got more army on the field and more tech. I want to compare lastly, faith with heresy. Heresy does a similar thing. It gives you protection against monks. What does heresy do? Heresy costs a thousand gold, which is a pretty hefty price. However, a lot cheaper than faith. And it makes it that your units die when they get converted. I actually prefer heresy when going up against monks because the effect of it is very, very easy to spot. If your unit gets converted, then now you have to deal with the fact that your opponent has that unit. And that makes it very difficult to actually push through to get those monks because now he's got that meat shield because of the units he converted. However, if you get heresy, the units he converted 
Rebirth dies, but then his monks are still left pretty exposed. So heresy actually does something. It lets me get to his monks, and I feel like it's a very measurable way to counter monks. You know exactly what's going to happen when you run in. You know exactly how the fight outcome will be because you have, you know, 100% of the time, your unit will die. There's no luck factor. There's no RNG, and it's going to be very easy to predict what happens in the fight. Whereas with faith, it's very hard to predict what's going to happen in the fight. So you might think you're ready to go fight. You charge in, and then, you know, your opponent still gets some pretty quick conversions considering you have faith, and then it's still hard to get to his monks, and you can't win the fight. And if you don't win the fight, your opponent now has all the units that he converted. And so all in all, guys, I just feel like faith is way too expensive for what it gives you. Heresy is nine times out of 10, the better upgrade to go up, up against monks. And the only time I can see faith being justifiable is when you have 200 pop, you have a ton of like war elephants, and you've got nothing else to spend resources on. Okay, it's like a Michi game, 4v4, no one's attacking. Sure, pick up faith. But other than that, it's a pretty useless upgrade and it's way too expensive. So just for a conclusion, I do think that faith does deserve a slight cost decrease. And I say slight, but really quite a hefty cost decrease. I would either cut the gold in half, so 500 gold, 750 food or i would lower the food cost almost completely i'd make it like 250 food a thousand gold something like that lower the, the overall price by like 500 and that would make it a pretty reasonably priced upgrade i think but as it stands now there's just simply no reason you'd ever want to research faith and i really hope this upgrade gets a little bit of love because it's nice to have more options in the late game what do you guys think about faith did you even know about this upgrade let me know in the comments below if you agree with my reasoning or if you completely disagree and you think this upgrade is completely busted and even needs a cost increase let me know any opinion you have in the comments below. Love reading them and responding. Take care guys. See you next one. Peace.